Okay, hey YouTube, what's going on? It is your girl, Savannah. Um, I just came to make a quick video and talk to y'all um, about um, Shimamanda. Or Shim I don't know how you say the lady's name. I think it's, um, let me see. I think it's Shimamanda. I'm not going to say her name. It's Shim Shimamanda, yeah. Ngozi Adichie. I know I said it wrong, but anyway. Um, I wanted to get this off my chest real quick because I don't know what y'all going through. But um, also, please excuse this. I just got, um, I just had my breast augmentation. I'll come back on here and talk about that in a minute. But uh, this one I need to get off my chest now. Um, excuse me. You had to forgive me because that breathing too dealt with my throat. Anyway, um, I want to talk about her comments on how trans women um, being women and people basically just got their foot all up this lady ass now. Um, because of her question that she was asked very specifically by a reporter and the question phrased by the reporter said, do you believe that, um, men or trans women who have lived as men have, um, some of the same, let me see if I can put this over here because it's the light, I'm going to have it all down, but there we go. Trans women who have lived as men, um, do they have, uh, Male privilege is basically, can you like equate the two? Um, or is there, should there be a, a difference or together or whatever, whatever. So anyway, um, y'all should go check it out. You've already seen it. If you ain't seen it yet, then, you know, you, you can Google it. You're doing too much. But um, basically, she said that she believes that trans women are trans women. Um, she also said that she doesn't negate the fact that we should be able to, oh, I'm trying to say, oh, that we should be able to, um, exist and live in a safe space and all that kind of stuff. But she said that she can't really abide by the idea that putting everything in the same category and conflating everything is, um, necessarily good. Um, and for everyone that's dragged her, everyone talking about some of the narratives and, you girls kill me. Oh, it's an act of violence. And oh, it's, you know, it's dangerous. And oh, it... she said trans women are trans women, which is a subset of women. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Let me just get that off my chest right now. I don't feel like she did. She said anything wrong. Now, she did not assume that all trans women come from the same background. Kind of like everybody's not pulling a Caitlyn where they done had kids and, you know, families and then transitioned later in life. And she didn't say that. The woman who interviewed her asked her a very specific question. She said, do you believe that the trans women who have lived as men and have kind of received those privileges as men and then, you know, then decided to transition, um, do you feel like they can basically identify and equate with the same things? And now, so... Everybody's got their own problems. And I feel like she she did a good job of trying to basically answer that direct question of saying that, no, I don't feel like, you know, trans women who have had that experience before and they came over, um, while there are similarities, there, it's, not, it's not the same. And I don't know why um, it drives me up a wall, but for everyone to be up her ass about this, talking about some, oh, trans women are women and you just need to say it, this is the end of blah, blah, blah. Girl, shut up. Y'all can disagree with me, and that's fine. But I disagree with most of the community who's coming for her and dragging her like this. Sorry, it's so uncomfortable. Um, talking about how she, um, you know, she she's not bashing the girls. She didn't get on there and was just like, trans women is whole niggas. All of y'all. Wholly and completely. She didn't do that. She said, I believe that trans women are trans women and they should have a place to exist and a place to be safe. What are y'all going through? And then she came back and I appreciate her for doubling down because I get sick of people who backpedal when um the when people don't agree with what they uh when people don't agree with what they say. And she did. She stuck right in there and she was like, I don't apologize. Basically, she said, I ain't apologizing for shit in so many words. Um, she was much more diplomatic than I am, but um and I would have said the same thing. I'm not apologizing for shit. I said trans women are trans women, and I meant that. And we are, and I just believe a lot of times that's what causes a lot of the issues when it comes to, um, I feel like, in our community, because we try to step into all these extra spaces, and it creates more chaos. Because you know, girl, it really doesn't matter. 
how you deal with it. Because if you think about how you deal with being a black in America and speaking as a black person, this is how I equate this. I can be a rich black person. I can be a working class black person. I can be a sports figure. I can be whatever. However, at the end of the day, I'm still black. And that's how America is going to designate me and treat me as such. So, yes, there's a disparity with that because it causes problems because of the race relations issues that we have in America, but that doesn't make me any less black. While I am a black trans woman, it is an identifier. I am a trans woman. That's an identifier of woman. That's the kind of woman I am, just like I am a black woman. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I can't speak to the lived experiences of white women. I can't do it. I can't speak to the lived experiences of the um, Hispanic and the Latina community. I can't do it. Because that's not my experience and that's not my identifier. Now, if somebody asks me a very specific question on it, I can try to put in my two cents, which is what she did. And everyone's like, oh, we need to tell our stories and you need to just let us tell our stories and blah, blah, blah. Half of you hoes nobody's heard of. You're not in the spotlight like that. So when somebody asks Laverne, she's quick to tell her story. When somebody asks Janet, she's quick to tell her story. Step your pussy up and tell yours. Because right now, the only people up there are Caitlyn. I want to do almost like a documentary. I'm really thinking about getting into like film and whatnot um, along with my writing because I would like to just go across and give these people some kind of voice. Even if it's just like a quick little documentary. Hearing from more people like they did with, um, they did one on um, MTV recently. Um, I'm talking about other trans people, but it, y'all are taking me out with this whole, we all need to be in one bubble. And it's like the transgender thing. It's an umbrella, girl. It's an umbrella. Trans women are trans women. You are no less of a woman. But then again, let's be real, you are no less trans. Nowhere along this journey do you become less trans. Nowhere. Would you like the space to exist, like she said, and be safe? Then yes, we do. And I want to look at people sometimes when they want to argue, oh, you're not a woman, you're not a woman, oh, I'm a trans woman. You're not a woman at all, you're a man. Okay, I'm a man. Where do we go from here? Because then it becomes, okay, are you still going to let me live my best life? Or are you just going to be out here because you feel like I'm a man and I look how I look? Now, now I can't do anything because that's the real issue. And if you have people doing that, then that's a problem. She didn't do that. So it's just like, for me, I'm like, girl, you got to let that go. And y'all are just like, oh, well, you know, spitting this one narrative of one kind of trans person. That was an inference that you made. She got asked a direct question and she gave a direct answer to that question. Now, if the woman had asked her, oh, what do you think about trans people in general and can they have, but that's not what she asked her. She very specifically laid the question out and said that have lived as men. And at some point in time, honey, most of us have. I don't care how fishy, and when Kat brought this up, she was like, oh, well, you know, I've always been read as fish and, um, you know, employees will laugh me out. And I'm sure some did. And I'm watching her old videos, girl, and I don't know who's, imitation crab you were serving but we all had to start somewhere and while everybody I'm, I'm not gonna get into that anyway there are some things that you can and can't get by with and so while you're sitting here trying to act like oh well, nobody clocks me and this is this, this that and the third girl you how the world deals with us is how we're perceived so if you look in the eye of tradition as a man, that's how they deal with you. Now, do you look like a man in woman's clothing? Fine, sure. And that's how they're gonna that's how they're gonna clock you, that's how they're gonna deal with you as long as they let you live. Is it dangerous? Yes, because some people are violent and some people are crazy, and some people take out that aggressiveness on us because for whatever reason they feel threatened or they just feel emboldened by their friends or other people or whatever experiences they've had. And while that sucks, that has nothing to do with the people who are just speaking on their experiences regarding you. They didn't tell anybody to come punch you in your neck. They didn't. And I feel like y'all jumping down Shimana's throat just because she said trans women are trans women. Honey, like I just feel personally, everything does not have to be all convoluted. This is why black women are constantly up in arms about us for the most part, especially if you're a woman of color. This is why other people, because we're constantly trying to step into a space that doesn't belong to us. 
You're allowed to be a woman and live as a woman and be a trans woman, honey. But you cannot sit here and try to act like all of our experiences are the same. They are similar. Yes, you can draw the conclusion that, you know what, this is like this. And this is why you should treat us like so. Like when we were talking to black people about how um, anytime you bring up to a black person about how um, civil rights for race relations and things of that nature are very similar to that for LGBT rights. And they want to be all of your ass. It's different. I can't change my skin tone and I can't. Nobody said it was the same thing. What we said was, you should be able to understand it because we're over here just trying to live our lives, just like you over here trying to live your lives. And this person is discriminating against you for this. We're discriminating against for this. We're saying that there is a discrimination in both lanes, and you should understand that. And people get all caught up in their feelings. Now, I feel like what Shamanda was trying to say, which is what I picked up on, um, was basically that, hey, listen, you have women and you have trans women. And while they are very much similar... And, but they are two parallel lanes. They do not meet. It is what it is. However, if you look at the mirror images being parallel, being side by side, they are damn near really close together. Some people closer than others just because the world is still built on that gender binary system. But it is what it is. And y'all cannot continue to jump up every ally's ass that does not say something exactly how you want to say it. And you're being coddled. And I feel like, excuse my new titties, just like what's her name is saying, T.S. Madison, you new titty getting hoes, stay up in arms about nothing. It's like it's like our whole community just needs to be mad. And it's just like, girl, Shimamanda ain't got nothing to do with that nigga that is curbing you because he doesn't want to meet you in public. She ain't got nothing to do with your family being trans in your face. She ain't got nothing to do with how people on the street deal with you. When she said that she's believed trans women are trans women and, and they are should be allowed to exist, and live their best lives, honey, you should have took that with a grain of salt and went about your business. Instead, y'all walking around like Cinderella stepsisters trying to fit your foot into a shoe that your feet are way too big for. That's not for you. Like, I just, I, I can't. Y'all drive me up a wall. But let me let that be before I raise, get my red up in more than it need to be. Um, that's all I want to say, to be honest, was y'all need to let that go and get a lady break. And you be mad, put it in the comments, however you feel about it. I will happily get back to you and try to debate this in a calm, cool, collective manner because I quite frankly just feel like everybody's in the wrong for being up this lady's ass over something that she said that quite frankly I believe is the whole honest to God truth, the gospel truth as the Disney music sings. What you mad for? Because she said you're a trans woman, you are a bitch.